Hi everyone, it's Rob and welcome to part 7 of the uh, video um, series that I am doing with tips for creating a mini album. And in this video I'm going to share with you how to create like a library pocket or a custom pouch for your mini albums, but it doesn't obviously have to be for mini albums, you can use it for anything. And what I have here is a tag, it's the Sizzix Jumbo Tag Die um, that I have cut and so I what I ideally to add this to a mini album I would want to add like a library pocket or some sort of a pouch sorry about the shadow it's uh, quite late at night we're leaving tomorrow for vacation and I had promised to get these videos in so I wanted to go ahead and, and take the opportunity to do it and this was the time that I had so please forgive any shadows that you know that might appear in the video so anyway on to the video uh, let me back out just a little bit here Okay, so what I need to do first is just to measure my tag. And I have grid paper here, and usually I keep like a paper and, and pencil. Let me just grab a scrap sheet. I keep scrap sheets in there here. And so this measures, and I don't need it all the way to the tippy top, but it measures three and one fourth wide by, this one measures uh, four and three-fourths. Okay, so I've just made note of that. Now what I'm going to do is, I, of course, I choose what cardstock I want to use. I don't have anything prepped, so I'm just going to get through as much as I can um, on this video. Okay, so basically what you need to do, you have your measurements. Obviously you're going to need it to fold up onto itself. If you've seen, um, well, I guess it's on my blog, but uh, I had a, a birthday card, tag that I had made for my mom and so that's on there with the actual uh, pouch to show you of course you'll see it at the end here but this one will be that one on my blog is all decorated and everything okay so basically I have my width I know I need to make it three and one fourth inches plus enough to have a flap to be able to fold around either side this will all come together hopefully for you as we progress in the video so I have three and one fourth. Well, I need to add a half an inch to either side. So I'm going to go ahead with my width of my cardstock, go four and one fourth inches. Okay, and then I want to, I'll just make the pouch to go up to four inches because I want to have this, well, actually I'll go three and three fourths because I want to have some of this, some of the scallops. Um, I'll have it go to right here because that way it'll peak above the pouch and it just get, adds a nice decorative element. So that was three and three fourths. Let me just double check. Uh, yes, it is three and three fourths. So I need to times that by two. So that would be seven and a half, right? Okay, so you take your seven and a half. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut my cardstock here. I'm going to keep it moving because I want to you know, try and get in. Uh, how to do this in just one video. You can do this for any tag, so don't necessarily go by my dimensions. I'm just trying to show you that you take whatever tag or whatever element you want a pouch for or a library pocket for, you measure the width, add one inch, half an inch on either side to be able to fold around to the back, and then you take whatever your height is and times it by two and you trim your cardstock to that, obviously. Okay, and that's what we're doing right here. So I'm going to cut it as four and a quarter for my jumbo tag by seven and a half. Next what we're going to do is go ahead and score it in half and just because it's quicker I'm going to go ahead and use my score pal. Let me set this out of the way. Okay so we're going to score it in half and that again is at three and a half inches. No, three and three fourths inches so I'm going to move this over four. Okay so that's three and three fourths inches. Let me score that a little bit better. Okay, and then I need to go the half an inch on either side. Okay, so I have a half an inch border on this side. Flip it over. You can you don't have to use a score pal for this. You can use your regular trimmer and a bone folder or a stylus. It does not have to um, have to you know use a fancy tool for that. Can you see these score lines? Okay, so I'm just going to burnish the score lines. Okay, I think for this one I'm going. Oops, I didn't pull it. I'm rushing too much. I'm going to go ahead. Out of the way, and um, create a library pocket. So I'm gonna get my scissors here. Next, what you need to do is you need to cut along 
the each score line on just one half, okay? And I'll demonstrate that for you. And I like to go a little bit inside the side of the score line, and you'll see why. Well, I'll just explain it just in case you can't, it doesn't pick it up in the video. When you fold over the flaps, these will be the flaps that we fold over. It gives it a little bit of extra room. Okay, now what I'm going to do, this isn't scientific, it doesn't have to be exact. Just cut, okay, here's my half fold score line right here. I'm going to cut beyond that just at an angle. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing. And just cut it like that. Okay, so here's our beginning of our library pocket. This is an optional step, but what I like to do now is that with the side with flaps, I like to stick some sort of punch in. I am using a circle punch. You can use any shape that you'd like. Stick it in about halfway, centering it left to right. And give it a punch. Can you see the library pocket forming? This, like I said, can be any size for any tag that you have or any element that you want to add in there. And then all you would simply do for the snake of the video, I'm going to just use a real quick adhesive. You just fold this up, fold these two over, and then you have your pouch. And where's our tag? You can show you that that fits in there. Okay. Whoops, actually I should have made it a little bit bigger, but you get the picture. You see that? Okay, so if you allow another eighth of an inch or so, I mean it fits in there, but this is also just patterned paper, it's not cardstock, so that's going to have a little bit more give to it. But So there's your pouch. You can add that to a page. Um, let me see, seven minutes. Okay, so I'm not going to have time to go into um, the actual, the other type of library pocket. This would be considered like a pouch. But to decorate this, all I would do is I would get my ruler, I would go below this line, and I would measure, okay, this way. Okay, so I would want my layered on top is three and one eighth inches so I would I would create a layer that's three inches or two and seven eighths even and then like I said measuring below the scallop and it's two and seven eight inches so I would do two and three fourths inches and then just create a, a nice photo mat here or if you're doing this as a card or like as a gift you just would add a sentiment or just decorate it however you want. The one on my blog I actually added, um, I used some of the uh, Tim Holtz grunge board circles and created a rose, added um, trim and uh, some other decorations on there. I stamped, stamped on some vellum and created a banner. So there's so many things that you can do with this and it can be for any size tag, any, any type of tag whatsoever. You just need to, like I said, measure your width, add for half an inch on this side, half an inch on this side, and then of course your length and then double it. Score it in half, score half inch on either side, trim off down to the center and then remember we angled it off that way. So and then you fold it in half and then fold your tabs behind. So I hope that helps to answer some of your questions about um, some of the elements that I've added to my minis and I will do another short video with the traditional library pocket which is um, basically the same thing. I'm just going to show you how I fold over the top there. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.